Hi everybody, it's Friday evening, it's the soap man, and it's time to make some soap. And this way, I'll put it to bed and let it do its thing while I sleep, and hopefully be ready to upload this Saturday morning. I'm not even really sure what to call this. I'm going to be using um, five different colors, titanium dioxide white, bramble berries, aqua pearl, just look at this. Isn't that just, oh, isn't that gorgeous? I'll be using Rimbleberry's Nuclear Orange. Very, very vivid neon orange. This is a, <laughs> actually I put this in another container, but this is Brambleberry's Fizzy Lemonade. I just had a bunch of containers and put it into this one. And I'll be using Nurture Soaps Sky Blue. And just look at that. So, I will be fragrancing this with a combination, 50-50 mixture of Brambleberry's Electric Lemonade Cocktail and Brambleberry's, uh, shoot, huh, Lemon Verbena Yankee Type. Now, that's why I don't know what to call it, because different colors, I can't really call it rainbow, because I'm not layering it, it's, it's just a fraction of the colors of the rainbow. I'm not layering it, um, it has white in it. The fragrance oil is a mixture, so I can't really call it that. That's why I don't know what to call it. Now, on my fragrance, the electric lemonade smells fantastic, holds up in cold process, behaves like a dream. It actually slows down your cold process, slows down your trace, but it has a little bit of vanilla. Rimbleberry says it discolors to an off-white. I use the Maximum Skin Safe, and it gets a little more brown in it. The Lemon Verbena smells great, holds up does not discolor, but it accelerates. Mixing the two together, since they're diluted, they kind of knock out each other's one little minor character flaw. They play really well together. They smell fantastic together. So you know what? We've had enough talk. Let's make some soap. So I'll bring the mixture of oils and lye water just to where they're emulsified, just barely. And that really means just to where I don't see any oils floating on top. Maybe one more quick one. And then I hope not to use the stick blender anymore, except with the titanium dioxide. I'll have to use it with that. Twist over the side, which I need. Let me just wipe it off quickly. So let's get this into our five containers. And I am just going for close, because close is good enough. And I will scrape this out because I'm finished with this pot. And I will put the colors into all the containers. So into the first, I have some titanium dioxide that is already pre-mixed in oil.
and I will have to stick glue to it. I'm hoping not to have to stick glue these others. So I will put the green. These are dispersed in oil. And the nuclear orange. The fizzy lemonade. And the sky blue. I'm going to stir these in and just kind of get an idea of what they look like. Do lightest to darkest. So start with the white. Go to the yellow. satisfied with that I am going to hit the white very quickly with the stick blender just to kind of micronize those elements of the particles This is not the most exciting, but I'm really not wanting to stick blend these anymore. I want to keep these really fluid. These are just a tad runny, so I'm going to shut this down for just probably a minute or two, and I'll be... Okay, now I think we're ready, and I'm going to pour in this order. Green. White. Orange. And yeah, we're thickening up. Should have poured it right away. Yellow and blue.
not offset the, the, the it did not offset the acceleration. So you know what that means? I'm gonna save a little for the top. I'm gonna just get these in there. Save a little for the top. Tap this, make sure I don't have any air bubbles. And then we're going to take our spatula and just randomly sling these out. I'm to make as much mess as I want this time. Not what I planned, but not bad. So, those still accelerated. That was really disappointed. I should have just poured it right away and not waited. That was my major problem. I should have poured it right then. I'll know next time because I still have some of that combination left and I will make it again. I've made it before, I love it. So actually, that doesn't look half bad. So we'll see what tomorrow looks like. I'm gonna spray it with some rubbing alcohol. Wait about five minutes, put it to bed, and I'll see you tomorrow. All of those will go into containers for some confetti soap later on. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Hi everybody. So 12 hours later, we're back to cut the soap. And it could have been 10 hours probably. This is one of the cleanest, easiest releases I've ever had. Slick and shiny like I like, nice and smooth, glass-like surface. I didn't know what to call this, and I may end up calling it a hot mess. If you saw the video, the fragrance oil I expected to behave very well started out behaving so well, I shut it down and waited a couple of minutes for it to set up a little bit. Big mistake, because then it started to set up and it went like wildfire. So I ended up spoon swirling. Now the spoon swirl has saved a lot of designs in the past. But I've not had quite so many colors. I don't know. They may be modeled. It may look nice. You're going to find out with me. Here we go. And let's see what we have. Alright. So, so far looking good. Got a couple of air holes there where it was just so thick. If I had this to do all over, knowing what I know now, I would have not waited, first of all. 
I would have poured all of the white into the mold and then drop swirled the remaining colors into the white. But I think this is going to look pretty good after all. The spoon swirl has saved a lot of patterns, and yes, I do like it. And that's just the end piece. It has saved a lot of patterns when the batter got too thick, unexpectedly. No, actually, I like this after all. I was a little worried. I also would have poured the yellow in a different area because the yellow is not showing up very well. I probably would have not poured it into the orange. And since the other log is going to look pretty much the same, we'll end the cut there. But overall, it turned out pretty well. Despite a rapidly advancing acceleration. And it smells fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So yes, I will definitely do this again. Definitely do that custom mix again, and I've done it before. That's the reason I know I like it. So anyway, folks, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.